Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more nice guy stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. It was great meeting you yesterday. <clears throat> it was great meeting you yesterday, Paula. You are beautiful and fun. We should hang out again next week. I'm glad we got that first date out of the way so we can really get to know each other. We had great chemistry. That kiss was a fire. I could kiss you all night. How is your day? <laughs> Stop. First mistake you made there is you already texted her once, okay? You wait for her reply, all right? If she's not replying, don't send that second text, okay? And I mean this only for when you're like online dating. But with your friends, you can text them as many times as you want, okay? You send them 10 texts, they haven't replied yet, send them another text. <laughs> oh. I'm just annoying, you know. Hi Nick, I had a great date myself. However, in the chemistry department, there was nothing there for me. I don't ghost people or anything. Yesterday, I just had a really tough day. I hope you find your someone. Great meeting you. Nothing there for me? Dang, that's a little harsh, isn't it? Oh, uh, well, why kiss me and then say it was amazing meeting me? Why be such an asshole when I came at you with such good vibes? Kind of disgusting behavior. Why is that? Asshole, what? <laughs> Why are they saying that's such an asshole move? It's not. Where was the asshole move? She was just like, I just felt no spark between us. I hope you find the one. There. Why is that rude? That's not rude at all. Way better than her not replying and ghosting you. Because for me, chemistry comes from a kiss. Physical touch. I didn't feel it when we kissed. That is all. I was simply being honest about how I felt. Go beep yourself. Beep. You're fat and ugly. Just being honest. Thanks, love. Have a great life. <laughs> yeah, thanks, love. Just move on with your life, okay? Do something good with life. For goodness sakes, man. Imagine just sucking up to someone and being like, you're so beautiful. We had such a great time. I love you. You're like the most amazing person ever. And then they're like, sorry, I just don't feel a thing. And then all of a sudden, you gotta take all those words back. Never mind, you are not an amazing person because you rejected me. How could you? How dare you? Why would you ever do that? Like, I don't understand anyone would ever reject me. Like, I'm the best. Like, I'm the best. I'm the best. <laughs> Why would anyone reject me? Hilarious. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry. Sorry, I'm just a bit out of it today. Like, <clears throat> did I mention I have a big you know you know you know what they're talking about when men say that right i may have neglected to convey such information lol who told you that wouldn't you like to know my read on this is that you aren't interested is that correct <laughs> who told you you had a big <laughs> i think that person was just you know using a magnifying glass and that's why they thought it was big but you know <laughs> Honestly, anyone who starts the conversation with, did you know I have a big, yeah, that's it. That's the whole personality. <laughs> okay. Gonna be honest, not really that interested in a relationship either due to Filipino admixture. Can't believe you're only one quarter because it dominates your looks. What did this guy just say? say my family would never approve of such offspring but curious what sex with an asian woman is like oh this piece so he just can't take a little joke and then his big ego got hurt you know <laughs> well she definitely dodged a red flag wish you the best of luck and hope you can find you that dual cowboy escort but I doubt it. You're gonna have to get realistic. From our talk, you seemed super hung up on your ex. I humbly suggest that you ditch such talk if you want to attract a man that will stick around. Free advice Friday. LOL. Wow, you're such a rule winner. He thinks he's doing any better. <laughs> Advice for you, if you want a woman to like you, don't brag about your penis size. Hey, how come you didn't message me this morning? Hi, I thought we were friends now. I said I linked your dog's fundraiser to my friends. You thank me and that is it. You just won't speak to me again. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm juggling with a lot today and I'm worried sick about anchovy. So I still really appreciate your help though. Yeah, I kind of regret it now, not gonna lie. I feel like telling my friends that it's a fake or something now. WTF, um, can you not? This would hurt my dog, dude. Like, why? I'm just hurt, that's all. We had a nice conversation last night. You were nice. Now you don't ever message me. Bitch, what? 
screw this person but thank gosh they showed the real character i'm just gonna be nice to you because i want your body but since you won't message me back screw you this person just has a dark dark heart you know it's one thing being mad at the girl right but now you gotta take it out on her dog bitch oops <laughs> i'm just mad okay why would you do that these guys just be thinking they're entitled to something just because they help someone with something like you help someone because you want to help them not because you expect something back jeez i just can't believe you i complimented you for months by swiping up on your story have offered so many times to take you out to dinner and pay but all i get is thank you or i have a boyfriend you seriously disgust me even if you did have a boyfriend, I would be an upgrade and it's sad you can't see that. Pathetic, really. I go to the gym, I have a six-figure paying job and I'm quite attractive. <laughs> and that's still not enough to even take you on a date or receive any pictures for my efforts. I can't tell if you're blind or ungrateful, maybe both. I don't even find you attractive anymore with how selfish and just rude you are to me after I've been so generous with my compliments and time. I hope your current boyfriend treats you like your last ex since you clearly need some karma in your life to teach you a lesson. LOL, okay. <laughs> That's the best answer to anything, honestly. If someone insults you, okay. Wait, what's this though? I complimented you for months by swiping up on your story. Imagine still trying to go after someone after they say I have a boyfriend. Why are you going that low, man? They have a boyfriend. Why are you trying to get with a girl that has a boyfriend? Like, what? Just find someone who doesn't have a boyfriend. And you say she's not that attractive, but you're going for her even though she has a boyfriend. So clearly, there's something about her that's just very, very attractive that you still want to go for her even though she has a boyfriend. I know this happens to guys as well. Like, some girls would still go after the guy even though the guy has a girlfriend. Like, people, why? Why are you stooping that low? You don't gotta do that. There's someone out there for you, okay? There's, there are so many people in this world. Surely there's someone out there for you. <laughs> I'm saying this, but like I'm single now. <laughs> okay. All right, fine. Fine, maybe there's no one for you. But even if there was no one for me, I would never stoop this low to like try to home wreck someone's relationship or try to go for someone that doesn't want me. Like... Why? Hey, happy new year. It's March. I know that dumbass. I forgot to wish you, so doing it now. Um, aight, same to you. I see you broke up with... Yeah, I'm sorry for what he did. No, it's okay. I'm doing fine now. Can't believe I raised him to be such a beep. Anyways, are you seeing anyone? No, I just need a break. Oh, that's great. I actually wanted to confess something. Okay, but before you say or do something, I should remind you that you're his best friend and he thinks of you as his brother. I don't think me not saying it will make any difference. Do you even want me to confess? No, I don't. So, I was saying that. I've had this major crush. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Do you want me to confess? No. Well, I've had a crush on you forever. <laughs> well, if you don't want me to confess, then I'm going to confess then. <laughs> what was the point of him asking then? Do you even want me to confess? No. She said no, so stop. Okay, so I was saying that I've had this major crush on you. I've been imagining things and it makes me really happy. Not gonna lie, it's mostly sexual. Just being honest here. You are making me very uncomfortable. Just stop this. Wow, he was right. You really are a bitch, aren't you? I'm just asking you to give me a chance here. I don't want a relationship or anything, so you can have your time and space you want, but we can help each other here. Oh yeah? Yes, you can get back at him and also have a great time. Wow. <gasps> what a piece of a poopy friend, honestly. What? <laughs> exactly. Can I send you a picture? WTF, do you not get it? I'm not interested. And now I don't even want to talk to you ever. Maybe you'll change your mind after seeing the picture. As if as what do you guys really think like that <laughs> what the heck is the picture gonna do nothing it's not gonna do anything we're just gonna be disgusted like eh, what is that eh. i'm pretty sure for most girls that does nothing the picture does nothing unless it's the partners you know what i mean unless it's someone that they're really into then they're like 
yeah but then if it's just some stranger they're disgusted well that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are and as always thanks for watching hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye